I, I remember every time, you know, I've been, I've had mentors in my life. I've always enjoyed the moment where I feel stupid. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yes. <laughs> but a lot of people that. fear that. A yeah. lot of people want to be, you know, the know-it-all when you're right. When you are, it, it's such an interesting dynamic, right? Where people feel like the older they get, uh, they shouldn't ask questions, mm. right? They, maybe they're the quietest person in the room and, you know, they daydream while these questions are, are coming up. I just think that it's just a huge opportunity to go learn something, even if I wasn't starting a beverage company. I mean, probably my most interesting friends, and many of them are not in the beverage industry, they'll ask me all kinds of questions. They're like, this is probably a stupid question, but, and, it, you know, it's, it, that to me just says there's that spark of curiosity in there that people want to know why it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that it's, it doesn't mean that you're uh, going to go start a company around a beverage, but I think people are just curious and they're curious and they should be curious and you should feed your curiosity as humans. I, I, I think somewhere along the way, we just, we look for the quick answer and then we stop versus actually digging in deeper to understand it from our own perspective. And that is the, that is what I learned by just switching industries. And I, I, I think it's something that I've given a lot of thought about too, that even our education systems, I mean, we, we ask students to go and pick one major. And what I say when I'm on university campuses is how many, most of my friends are not doing what they thought they were going to be doing when they went to college. It was a great opportunity to go learn something new and maybe master something new in some ways, but continue expanding, continue listening to podcasts, reading, going and starting a company or being curious and asking questions because that's what we need to do in order to keep mm. our brain going and, turn, and, and really keep our kind of mental health, I think, going to where we're always learning something and we don't get bored, we don't get static. Um, you know, that I think the most unhappy people today that I see are ones that have lost their curiosity, who aren't looking to learn new things. And it's really sad. But I often ask people to, you know, kind of lead a life when they aren't feeling so great of you know learning every single day getting up and thinking about one thing that you can learn and it's amazing just by asking questions and being vulnerable what you can actually learn in a day